It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow!
That's right, folks. Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. We're going to get into this game. We're going to have a blast with this game. I'm going to tell you all about it as we get through this. I have played this game a few times already. I have not played the director's cut, and I have not played this to 100%, which is going to be what my goal is going to be here. Now, as we get into this, uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into a new game. I've played a little just to get used to the controls, but really not that much. And I want to get all the way to the very beginning, so we're going to go ahead and do a new game. Now as we're loading up the game here, I, what I will say for all of you is that uh, this game has a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. Another story. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You've been waiting a long time for this, so how about a special one? This story is very strange and very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Is it a scary story? It might be. But it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? Leave the sound down like always. Listen, this is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Alright, so now I have control over my character here, and I can pivot around the camera and all sorts of goodies here. So we're going to just go ahead and do this little bit of a tutorial here. And uh, this game has these collectibles, so we're going to go ahead and attempt to get all of those collectibles, actually. And to do that, it's going to require me to replay certain levels, and you'll see that as we go along. Now let's go over here, and we'll take care of this piece here. The strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. Doll shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it which reads Washington State. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's get started. So this area is called the Red Room. We'll come here several times throughout the game. Zack. 
Zack, can you hear me? It's me, York. If you could hear my voice, could you respond? So wait, is he implying that we're Zack? What if I what if I don't answer? No way. Uh uh. What's the matter, Zack? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, say something, Zack. Okay, fine. I'll answer. Uh, good. I thought you went to sleep, Zack. Don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zack? Okay, York. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. It's actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Zack, I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well... I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zack? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Just crazy. You know, at least I now have a scar to show off. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zack? Smashed up now. This is gonna go boom. It's not a care in the world. Zack, there goes the civilized world. <laughs> what? Yes, that is York. That is what he's going to be doing. He's going to be talking about the Zack character for the entire game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the save button, of course. So here we are. We have a flashlight. And uh, in the top left corner, we've got our heart thing, which is kind of our health. And the blue squiggly line, that is like a stamina bar. And you can see my police issued light here is basically this little white dot on my uh, jacket there. Dun, dun, dun. 
Alright, so let's do a little bit of exploration. Yeah, that's actually a little easier to see the light actually on and off. There's our car. It's all smashed to smithereens here. Which is really too bad. Ah, uh, tough luck. Have to leave you here, old buddy. How long we were together ever since I joined the Bureau. Alright, cool. So this game does have a financial system. You notice there I picked up something that uh, basically was some money and then I've got myself a steel pipe. It also has durability for items so uh, it, I, I guess if I was to put it into a nutshell here I would say that this game is a mix of Resident Evil and I'm talking more of the modern day ones so well, it's maybe more Resident Evil 4, maybe 5 uh, because when I go to shoot here it kind of I can't move and shoot at the same time uh, so that's definitely one piece of it let's go ahead and look in our... oh I meant to observe it but. so this is our sort of way to put stuff and take stuff away so I'm actually gonna go and get that pipe back that's how we're gonna be managing our inventory and generally speaking if I, if I don't think I need it I'm just gonna dump it and it's going to magically get into that toolbox right there. And the toolbox are, of course, spaced throughout the entire game. Alright, so we need to go this way. And, uh, so we got to change our weapon. And you'll see here what this looks like. Yeah, we're going to bash that away. Now there's some of those badges, which is basically the money, are hidden in those fences and, and in boxes and stuff like that. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the opening of the game so far. And this part reminds me a little bit of Psych. <laughs> Looks like we're being welcomed. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. So yeah, so there's a money system here. Of course, we won't uh, necessarily get to any kind of store for a while because we have to get our way out of here. Can't see much through the fog. The path might be black from the rain. We should stay away from obvious danger. Obvious danger is obvious. So you can see here I also have this knife. Uh, the steel, I think, no, maybe the mission knife does have a um, durability as well. Now, which way did I come from now? I can't even remember. I got all turned around. I hear animals. Oh, let's keep going this way. Why do I hear puppies? Ah, uh, I see blood. Oh no, poor puppy. Huh? Okay, we have a visitor. Time for that meet and greet. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my uh, pistol here. Infinite ammo, which is not bad. We'll be using this for a little while until we get a better weapon. Oh, there's our creepy person. Barefoot and bloody footprints. Now I'm pretty sure these are... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. So there you go there. So there's an example of uh, another ancient honor that allows me to gather that up. So we have, our little friend is in here somewhere. Or, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, she wasn't here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. This is a can of pickles! Uh, food in this game is basically allows you to heal up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my toolbox. Or I shouldn't say that, it's not really healing. You do have a hunger bar. So, uh, I'm just gonna check some of this stuff out here. So we've got this generator. The EAY 8000. Turning you on. There you 
go. So now that gate is opened. Easy peasy, right? Ah, uh, no. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Give me control, give me control! <laughs> Alright, so there's our first profiling evidence. The mysterious shadow. Give me the control! Alright, so we've got this system here, and essentially what we want to do is shoot it when it's kind of like a full... Uh, what do you call it? I guess the crosshair is just full on their heads. Oh! Hello! We have a body. A body? A buddy. Ah! Great. And you get an extra for uh, headshots, so... Extra, extra dollars! Oh! Another monster. So I got myself some bandages. Because this agent's gotta get paid. So this is what I mean by Resident Evil, is once I pull my gun, I cannot move around, so... Resident Evil 5 in particular. I guess you could say four as well. Oh wow, that was a one-shot kill, okay. Never mind. Alright, so what do we have here? An old sign, I can make out Gravel. Well, that's obviously going to be Greenville. We'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so that is, I think, where we want to go, but I want to go explore this way first. Aha! Agent Honor! That one's worth a good 30. We'll head back this way now. Open the gate. Oh, we want a profile. See, this is what I mean by psych. He has his finger to his head, just like the psych guy. There are a lot of crazy situations, but that one, that one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. Zach, can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Nope. Not a Never chance. Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? Absolutely. So we get a little extra for doing that profiling, which is why we wanted to do it. Oh, hello, box. Now, this actually is uh, an infinite food source, so there are going to be several of these throughout the game. So what I can do here is I can save the game, and then reload, and then this would be, you know, there'll be lots and lots of this. So, you know, it's, there's a bit of min-maxing going on with this game in terms of uh, getting as much food, as much ammo, and all that kind of stuff as well. And it just kind of makes your life a little easier. We're going to, of course, be looking for infinite durability and infinite ammo weapons throughout. There are more special weapons. Uh, but yeah, you can see here I can just go ahead and get as many lollies as I would like. Yeah, and I'll just grab a couple more. I think there is a limit that you can hold. Yeah. I'll put, I'm going to grab a couple and just put it in my pocket, if you will. So there you go. So I got myself another lolly. I don't think these are really that valuable in terms of selling them, but boy, do they cost a lot of money to buy. And you're going to see when we get to some of the vending machines and some of the vendors, the food in this game is insane how much stuff costs, so that's why I'm kind of spending a little bit of time there. All right, so just by observing that, I get an extra $10. Now I can actually save. And this is going to be the save system. 